some of the ventilators, especially the older ones, don't have, uh, it's not compensating for tubing compressibility factor or tubing compensation factor. In order to know the actual volume being delivered to the patient, again, on the older ventilators, we need to know tubing compressibility factor. And in order to do that, while the patient's off the ventilator, we want to set the tidal volume to about two to 300 mLs, and then set the upper pressure limit to maximum, and then we need to include the Y. Once you include the Y, you will generate a certain pressure. So let's say you set your volumes at 200 mLs, and then the pressure generated, because you include the Y, is about 100 centimeters of water pressure. Based on this, you will now have a tubing compression factor, or uh, tubing compressibility factor of two mLs per centimeters of water pressure. Now, why is that important? Because once you now have the TCF, you could now, let's say, place the patient on the ventilator, and then while the patient is on the ventilator, let's say it delivered a PIP of 30 centimeters of water pressure. What you're gonna do now is the PIP multiplied by the TCF will give you the tubing volume lost, okay? So 30 times two, again, this is your centimeters of water pressure, mLs per centimeters of water pressure, cancel that, and then your answer here is 60 mLs. That tubing volume loss of 60 mLs is the volume inside the tubing that's not going into the patient. Once you have the tubing volume loss, then you now are going to know what is the actual volume delivered to the patient. So let's say there's an order of, uh, based on the ideal body weight of 60 kilos and using this range of five to seven mLs per kilo, let's just use seven for now. So let's say the tidal volume is 420 mLs. 420 is based on the 60 kilos times seven. Based on the 420 mLs, in order to get the corrected tidal volume, you will now subtract the set tidal volume minus the tubing volume lost. So in this case, it's 420 minus 60, okay? So this will come up to, if I do my math correctly, 360 mLs. So that means that the volume being received by the patient is 360 mLs. However, again, once you, go, once you have a ventilator that does not compensate for the TCF, your set tidal volume, if you put in the 420, your return volumes may not get the 420 back it may even get something low as 360 just because of the 60 tubing volume loss in the circuit. And then this is the corrected tidal volume that the patient's receiving.